In this video, we will talk about two of Flutter's most powerful tools which allows users to build apps faster, namely Hot Reload and Hot Restart. Flutter's Hot Reload feature helps you to quickly and easily experiment, build UIs, add features and fix bugs within the code. The Flutter framework has been optimized to make rerunning build methods fast so that you can just rebuild anything that needs updating rather than having to individually change instances of widgets. But how does it work? Hot Reload works by injecting updated source code files into the already running Dart virtual machine. After this virtual machine updates classes with the new versions of fields and functions, the Flutter framework automatically rebuilds the widget tree, allowing you to quickly view the effects of your changes. It depends on how many classes we modify and not on the size of the project itself. Uh, Dart and Flutter reuse most of the old objects when creating new states, so only parts which are inevitably modified are replaced. It is important to know that the size of the project does not matter, as the build time and reload remains very less effective. On the other hand, a hot restart is like a completely new start of the app over the connected device. It collaborates all the changes in the app from the beginning to the end, and it starts it into our connected device. Let us now show how Hot Reload and Hot Restart works inside Flutter. As it is visible on the screen, we have created some text, put some style to it, and put it in the center of the body. Now to display how Hot Reload and Hot Restart works, let us make some changes to this code. So let us make a new class, and let's call it example. Let us follow the same procedure, procedure by extending it to stateless widget, overriding it, and so on and so forth. Let's make its own build method. Add a context. And inside this, let us pass the text that we created above and return it as a child. Select this. And let's return this as a child. <clears throat> and let's call example in the body now. So we have called example widget in the body and we have mentioned the text and its style inside example. We are making a hot restart so that the code builds from scratch. And now you can see that there is absolutely no change. That is because the body is now calling the widget example and the widget example contains the text that we are displaying on the screen. Now to display how hot reload works, let us induce some errors inside this code. So let us remove child and let us remove the T from text. Now that we have induced some errors, let us make a hot reload and see what happens. Now on pressing hot reload, we can see that the body is broken but the app bar and the floating button is still intact. Now this happens because when, when we make a hot reload or when we reload it, it just rebuilds the build with this context. And this context contains the floating action button and the app bar. So what it basically does is that it just reloads the build of the default route 
which is home in this case, the home widget. And because this particular build context does not fall in that path, so it breaks. So that is how hot reload works. And we will see you in the next video.